I've blocked someone for doing that. What? Obviously, it's not his fault, but right. I literally zoomed into the image and was like, nah, block. It's Henry on Kiss Fresh, and I'm so excited because I'm joined by a stunner. Look at her face. Is this normal? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Whitney, I did buy your... Is this normal? Yeah. What? You, what? you look stunning. Why is everyone shocked when they see me in person? You, you're buff, bro. <laughs> I've heard buffing you. You're, you're so pretty. Wow. Oh, so are you, oh, God bless you, baby. <laughs> I love it. How are you, girl? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for joining me in the studio. So, of course, it's not been long since you've left the Love Island villa. How would you describe the outside world now that you're settled back in? I don't know. It's obviously a life-changing experience. Yeah. But I'm kind of like, when I, when I went to the villa, I, I know who I am. Okay. So it didn't really Period. change me. Yeah. Period. Yeah, I can't say the same for others. But yeah. it didn't change me as Fairs. a person. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just doing what I was doing before. And then that being said then, babe, what have you learned about the world outside now that you've left the villa? I feel like I'm in secondary school again, to be fair. <laughs> I feel like the whole influencing, this, yeah. like, when, this side of life, yeah, yeah, yeah. it just feels like school. Yeah, how? How though? Just in the, in the sense where like there's different groups, different people, yep. the it girls, the popular girls. Like, yep. you, it just, honestly, the rockers. Yeah, like the rock stars. <laughs> it honestly feels like school. Yeah. Do you know what's so funny? That was actually going to be my next question. <laughs> what was Whitney like in school? What was you like as a character? Of course, we know now that you were manoeuvring around different like yeah. groups of people. But who were you? How would you describe yourself in school? I was definitely popular. Love it. I was definitely like funny, quirky. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not like snobby. Okay. I'm very much like I, I'm friends with everyone love it like that kind of popular. oh babe um, but yeah the school was lit I didn't struggle in school <laughs> oh that's good well done yeah, as no. a Nigerian you're not even allowed no, to struggle no <laughs> don't carry last like no <laughs> I love it. Okay, cool. So what kind of school did you go to? Girls mix? All girls school. All girls. I love it. All girls school. Mm. Babe, that's oh. where the personality girls are built. Um, uh, we like, tried. People think it's not just face cards, uh -huh. but like personality in yep. school. I feel like when you're like in the mixed school, the boys can outshine the girls yeah, and they kind of become more timid. True. But in a girls school, as in bants for days. For days. For I used days. to cry in like, secondary school. Cry. Are you joking? <laughs> okay, cool. So as now we're both girls school babes, yes. how was it character building for you? I feel like it just teaches you how to be yourself. Sure. You know what I mean? Because you can relate to loads of girls mm -hmm. on your level. You don't have the hindrance of like men. And honestly, I didn't even clock boys like that yeah. until I was like 17. Yeah, that's like, what a lot of us say. It's crazy. Yeah. And we were right next door to um, William Ellis, so uh, all boys school. But really? we were so like in our own world of the girls. That's good. And I, it didn't change I, you. I didn't know. We didn't know well what boys were. But obviously <laughs> we knew, but it wasn't like a... A thing yeah like did you find it hard then because a lot of girls from girls school have said that when you now leave the girls school mm -hmm. the comfort of the sisters every single day yeah and now you come out to speak to boys it could be a bit like daunting like oh damn Baby, we <laughs> don't forgot. struggle around here <laughs> <laughs> i got a man though um <laughs> period <laughs> You're funny. Oh, I love it. Babe. Okay. I love it. So my next question to you is now, girl, we've all got them. What were your um, survival tactics growing up in London? I had siblings. That helped. Fez. Um, older brother? Older sister? Yeah. Both? I'm the last born. Fez. Yeah, I'm the last Some born. Some of us, it was us and us alone. It, yeah, so like anything that I would have done... They've all done it before me. Crazy. Were you the kind of girl that was like, I'm, I'm, I'll get my brother on you, you know, like, he's literally right there. Oh, no, I wasn't troublesome. <laughs> oh. It was, but my sister's like very, like, up for it. Okay. So it'll be like, Lizzie. <laughs> oh, she's on space. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, she's it. a one, yeah. Oh my days. I reckon like, honestly, growing up in London, you needed to have some kind of comeback. Even if you weren't like a mouthy babe or somebody that was always in confrontation. Mm -hmm. If somebody says something to you, like, yeah, you're not looking nice today, you have to say something. Oh, no, facts. Or else you you'll never survive. Oh, you have to stand you your ground. You have to stand your own. You really, like, really do. <laughs> especially being a North girl, like. Oh, really? Yeah. Imagine yeah. ourselves. Oh, damn. Well, we, you got to be standing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten toes every yeah. day. Oh, yeah. oh my days! You can't leave the house without oh, yeah. problems coming towards yeah, your no, front we'll door. Like five toes up. Are you? Like, <laughs> it was never that serious down these sides. No, you're <laughs> funny. Oh my days! I I love your whole character <laughs> and your whole personality. Your Honestly, thanks, it's so great to see because it's given that you are just a girl's girl. Oh yeah, I'm definitely. A girl's I girl. love it. I'm a girl's girl. Okay, cool. So I asked Jada Wader this same question. Yeah. How do you know, or how can you tell in another girl that they are a girl's girl? I would say 
how they are in the relationship. Okay. Yeah. How? How? Why? Because <laughs> them relationships, they change <laughs> women. Are you talking in like, in terms of, all right, cool, now my friend's got a babe now. I never mm. hear from her again. Yeah, you know, the okay, ghost Okay, right. Yeah. That is actually kind of sad though. Oh yeah, isn't definitely it? sad. Yeah. But I feel like we all go through it. Of course. We've all done it. Of course. But <laughs> we've I would all been say, there. Yeah, we've all been there as in, <laughs> yeah. I'm trick you. But, um, but I would, that's how I would say. Okay, fair. Like, if she's able to maintain a good relationship with you mm-hmm. whilst maintaining it with her man, mm-hmm. then... That's a good girl. Of course. Yeah. And um, you're Yoruba as well. Am I correct in saying? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. I'm half Nigerian, half Sierra Leonean. Okay. Right? But I, I identify somehow in some way as a Yoruba as well because I understand it completely. What, like you're fluent? If you were to speak it to me right now, I can definitely... Oh, I can't speak it, girl. I can't help you. Could you understand it? Mm, small, small. Really? Small, small. Are you the, be honest, yeah. Are you the ones that can only understand come and wash face? Well, fire boy. That's all that we can Yeah, like curse words. And curse words? No, but to be fair, I can understand. I, I would get the gist of it. Really? Like, you know, if someone says sentence, I could like pick out a word and yeah. then be like, okay, that's what And you can this. understand. Yeah, I can like <laughs> navigate. Are you going to be that person that's going to end up learning your abode, do you reckon? Through experience, I'm open to it, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to sit down. And, and, and no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to your other school. If I'm going Whitney, I'm, I'm just going to have to take you with Babe, me. Babe, there's not absolutely gonna no way. You have to get your school uniform like, back no, on. No, no. <laughs> and they'll force you. Yeah. To, you're wearing uniform. Like, nah. <laughs> At your big age, will make you do it. I love it. Is there anything that you do that reminds you of your yoruba or your nigerian sometimes without even thinking? Because for me, it happens all the time. <laughs> so, for example, I've got a cat, yeah? His yeah. name is Ash. If he annoys me, I'm like... I'm like, <laughs> to the cat, bro. I'm like, bro, you you're a cat. S- yes. And you're Yoruba. Y- yeah. Babe. Yeah. Just be praying. How? Wait, he's, he's, a, he's a child of God as well. That's, come on. My mum would say, <laughs> there's no way. Can I say something? There's My mum no, was no doing way. the same thing. Because of the kind of stories you hear about cats, yeah. Cats, <laughs> we need to change their PR. What is it about cats that have Nigerians superstitious altogether? I don't know. They just think they're evil. Nollywood. They think spirits can. <laughs> like inhabit them yeah. and yeah but is it into... just a cat what about a goldfish yeah, but I don't feel like they like any animals <laughs> I don't even feel like they're fussy like that if it's not human it ain't right Bruv, if them. it's not on two legs I'm not on yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> just as we were in the little music break oh, yeah. we were talking about how music just isn't the same as what it used to be no talk to me what are your thoughts darling because even me in my heart I'm just like men don't cry on R&B beats like they used to no they don't they they're don't. not in the rain <laughs> Like they're like they're not doing much. <laughs> they're literally it's so, not. It's like where are the male singing artists? Bro, it's where actually so at? true. Do you know what they exist? But a lot of them are really cool now. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, great, be cool. But I need someone who's gonna cry and tell me it's been ten days since I've left and that they want me back. Do you know what I mean? It's not every day like bad B. It's not every day. Like, it's all like or bad toxicity. Bee. Yeah. Do you know what like, I mean? It's just like there's no like real love. Yeah. You feel it. It's so true. That's why I don't like music anymore. Girl, do you know what I miss? The Shubs era. Oh, the Shubs. How long has it been since you even heard the word Shubs, bruv? Babe, we don't party like we used to. I was just going to say. We gonna don't see. party like we used to. Hello. Everyone got too cool for real. We got too cool. As in. Back in the day, people oh used to sweat. Oh my gosh, bend over and touch toe. <laughs> Like it used to be like it used to it's be so like a, a thing, a but now it's kind of like frowned upon. It's so true because mm-hmm. people get out like their cameras. Not to say mm-hmm. that I'm encouraging whining because sometimes when I look behind, I don't know <laughs> who's there. <laughs> sometimes I get a bit scared, but I will say for a fact that actually just enjoying yourself in the dance is a lost art form in today's day and oh, age. Oh, one hundred percent. Like Bruv. music now, it's kind of like you hear it, you vibe to it, and, and then it's that's it. it. And then it's but gone. it's supposed to be like a group. Vibe. Do you know who I miss? Azonte Warriors. I'm gonna say it. I miss them. One <laughs> man stand up. Like, I miss. <laughs> they used to go hard, as in they'd be practicing oh their dance moves all week, <laughs> just to show it off in the rave. Oh and my gosh! I don't know if I miss Azonte Warriors. I miss them. No, because- but I do miss Big Clash. I think Big, Big Clash, Clash. They did it. Yes, they Big did. Big Clash. They did. They made it kind of cool. Yes, to get everyone actually up mm-hmm. and moving. Do you get what I mean? But no one dances. It's I feel sad. like London don't have that vibe because no one dances yeah. anymore. I think everyone's just a bit more sad than they used to be. Oh, genuinely, 100%. genuinely, the way that the world is going, I feel like a lot of people are saying, "What is there to even smile about?" Apparently, yeah, because it's social media. Yeah, social media. Social for real. media. For real. So she's sucking. 
the real life happiness out of it. For real. Yeah. For real. Anyway, let's go into happier things. Yes. <laughs> let's talk about you being the CEO of your own wig company. Literally, you were a businesswoman before Love Island. What are your best tips for keeping a wig laid? Because some of us struggle. <laughs> Today, I'm not going to lie, I even had 10 minutes, I had to rush out of the house. <laughs> it's only laid by the grace of God. No, it's okay. laid though. <laughs> you actually thank the Lord, honey. It's laid. Pray y'all went into this one. So how, <laughs> how do you keep a wig laid? Um, it's a uh, what's that thing called? It's like a paper sheet. You know when you get a wig done, oh, you yes. have the paper sheet. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. So you put the paper sheet and then you put the band on top, and it literally stays melts. Yes, yeah, stays okay. melted. I love it. And what I saw and loved online was the relaunch uh, where you included <laughs> all of the fellow Love Islanders as well. Yeah. What was the importance for you of casting uh, black female Islanders who were very popular uh, whilst they were on the show as well? My view was, it was, one, it's not a colour thing. Mm-hmm. Anyone can wear wigs for, and for different reasons. Of course. Um, but that campaign, it was kind of like, I just come off of Love Island. Mm-hmm. This is my experience. And I was able to tap into people that had similar experiences with me. Mm-hmm. So it was just like a, a nice, fun, soft launch. Of course. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, though. It was beautiful. For me, seeing it, I'm like, bro, these are all of the, the people that I saw on TV that I rooted for. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because they look like me as well. Like, if yeah. they could do it, who mm-hmm. says that? Okay, I'm not going on Love Island. But, no. <laughs> but do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. I think a lot of uh, black women actually felt that as well. So you should be proud of yourself. It was actually Thank st- you, stunning. Thank stunning. You. <laughs> uh, what do you love in yourself about being a black woman? It's going to be the classic being strong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it, honestly, yeah. bittersweet. But I would say being strong. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just naturally got the... Mm. I hear that. About me, like <laughs> when you when we walk into a room, people know. Yeah, people know. <laughs> Facts, yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say just the strength yeah. it carries. I love in black women that from the clean aesthetic to the baddie aesthetic, we eat up every single one. I do like the range. Oh, babe, it's, it's giving like there's like nothing that we can't this. do. Do you get it? Yeah, natural hair. It's just a completely different person. Like, Lockin's having a ball. <laughs> like. <laughs> Every week, honestly, <laughs> he's having a field trip. I love it. <laughs> oh my days. I think the same thing as well. You know, don't want to say it's like, yeah, one day you see me with my afro, one day you see me. Yeah. Listen, same babe, same buddy, just different looks, spice it up a little bit. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I love it. So you mentioned Lockin. You two look ridiculously good together. Thank Number you. one, <laughs> buff couple. I love it. What is it that you love about Lockin? Oh, he's just such a nice guy. Mm. Like, you know, like, he's just so nice. Mm-hmm. He's very hardworking. Like, he's just a good man, Savannah. And I <laughs> honestly mean that. Like, he's a very good man. I love that. And how did you spot a gentleman? Like, how can you spot a gentleman? <laughs> do, you, do you get it from yeah. those that maybe are pretending to be or trying to be? Well, with Lockin, like, he holds my hand when I go down the stairs. He opens doors for me. Mm. Like... He checks in on me randomly, like, like and be like, just checking, you okay? Like, he's just honestly so attentive and he's so kind. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, it's actually given. When I see you guys on red carpets, I'm just like, no, this is such a great match. I love everything. Thank you. I'm, you know, then once I want to like it a million times. <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> Genuinely so stunning to see. And I love the fact that he's a great chef as well. Oh, yeah. Must be incredible for you. He's fed. <laughs> Love it. Was that kind of like on your list? Like, I need somebody who can cook. Or do you know the gag is before I actually went to Love Island, I was watching. You know, have you seen them TikTokers? Which ones? Um, he's a chef. Is it Desmond? Mm. And but yeah, he always cooks for his wife. And yeah. I was thinking, this is lit. This is life. Like this is life. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, do you know what? I would love to have a chef. And then I met Lockin. Oh, I love it. God is working yeah. in wonderful. Still not a chef though, but. <laughs> But he's a great cook. I love it. Yeah. Whitney, you know I couldn't let you go without doing a Henry's hotline. Yes. Think of it as a therapy session, but nobody gets healed here. We are just chatting. <laughs> We're just chatting. For real, and laughing. Okay. So with Henry's hotline, you bring something to it that irks you, that's annoying you. Okay. So Whitney, what would you like to bring to Henry's hotline? Mine would be when guys bite their nails oh. to the bud. You know the stump Not to the bone. <laughs> I, oh my, I've blocked someone for doing that. What? Obviously, it's not his fault, but right. I actually zoomed into the image. 
and was like, nah, block. But you know, sometimes it's genetic. Sometimes they haven't bitten no, it. No, it's not. Yeah, it's some people. It's, babe, I'm telling you, <laughs> when it's to the bud. What's the bud for you, like, down here? No, as in some guys have literally, the nail is just one line. It's literally just there. Yeah, just, problematic. Okay, do you know what? Pro- problematic. No. Just the help that you need, I just pray that you receive it. You know them ones there? Because yeah. to, be, to be biting it all the way down, th- there's something going on Once there. Once you bite it all the way down, it can't grow a normal nail. <laughs> like, because then the skin folds. Did you and Google it becomes, this? Babe, you I've did. seen it. <laughs> I've literally seen it. So the nail will go out. Yeah. Like, there's no coming back. The damage is done. This is traumatic for you. It's, babe, I can't stand it. I just think it's really I can see it around. Nasty. I'll no longer let you relive it, okay? Like, <laughs> go straight in every time. <laughs> Whitney, you're a whole hun. Thank you for joining us and I hope to have you back soon. Anytime, babes. Oh, honey. <laughs>